Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a 45 minute sculpt plus flow. This is one of my signature formats where I combine vinyasa with Pilates, body weight strength exercises, some cardio to create a really well-rounded full body workout. This class is yoga inspired, but it is not traditional yoga. So if you are looking for that, I have plenty of other videos that are, and this is definitely not one of them. If you like to spice class up, you could put ankle weights on or wrist weights on. And if you need a block or a strap, you can go ahead and grab those, but no equipment is needed. There's a Spotify playlist in the description if you like music while you flow. And quickly before we start, I am teaching a retreat in Baja and I would love for you to come. So there's a few spots left and the link is in the description with all the info. We're gonna do this style of class down there by the ocean, it's gonna be great. Also, I have an app called The Glow Method. If you would like a seven day free trial, the link is down below as well. All right, let's start tabletop. Walk to the center of the mat. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. On your next inhale, start to walk yourself forward to a puppy pose right away. Starting to drop the chest, keep the hips high over the knees. Maybe the chin or the forehead meets the mat. You could grab a block and place it underneath. Spread the fingers wide. Starting to melt the chest towards the ground, opening through the front side of the body. If this is too much of a backbend for the start of practice for you, you can find a child's pose instead. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, plant the forearms and come all the way down into the belly. Press to the tops of the feet, ground through the elbows and then drag them back isometrically towards the ribs to start to peel the heart up. Finding your sphinx pose, shoulder blades pulling towards the midline, crown of the head lifts to the sky, gaze follows, breathing in, breathing out. Maybe straighten the arms for the last breath, finding a seal pose. Again, if this is too much, you stay down on the elbows or modify as needed. Beautiful, release back onto the elbows, tuck the toes under. Next, inhale, forearm plank. Holding here for a moment, push into the elbows, start to charge up through the core, through the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, exhale. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, start to walk the feet in, so that the hips lift, find your dolphin shape. We'll be here a couple times in class, so just finding a little bit of a prep pose here, lifting the hips to the sky, pushing your elbows into the mat, squeezing shoulder blades in towards the midline, breathe in, breathe out. On your next inhale, press yourself up into a downward facing dog, one arm at a time, exhale to land. Start to pedal it out right then left. Maybe sway the hips side to side, shake the head yes and no beginning to warm up your body. On your next inhale, gaze forward, lift the heels, exhale, take as many steps as you need to come to the top of the mat. Let's land with the big toes together today. Take a bend into the knees, left hand down, inhale, straighten through the right leg as you open the right arm to a twist. Stay for the breath out. Gently release right hand to the mat, bend into the right knee, straighten the left, Open to the twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Release the fingers. Inhale, lift all the way up to stand mountain pose. Sweep the arms up to the sky once you arrive. Exhale forward, fold all the way back down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back high, plank, hold. Send the heels towards the back of the mat, charge up the legs, core engage. Push into the hands, protract the shoulders. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two more breaths here before we pick up the pace. Take this moment to pause, to catch your breath. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, gaze forward. Exhale, travel top of the mat. Halfway, forward folds. Inhale to rise, mountain pose. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, top of the mat, step or float. Halfway, forward fold. Chair, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to the sky, just here for a breath in. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Roll the back heel down, square the hips. If this is too much on your back knee, pop the left heel, come to your crescent. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, flow, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg high, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior one. Roll the back heel down. Inhale, sweep, square the hips. Exhale to land. One more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Two more breaths to pause. Catching your breath. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shift forward to a plank. Feet about hips width, hands about shoulder width distant. Curl the tailbone under just slightly, engage the core. Shoulder taps, right hand up, then down. Left hand up, then down. All right, our little plank core shoulder sequence. If you need to modify, come down to the knees and do the same exact movement. We want to try to keep the hips as still as we possibly can. They are gonna sway inevitably side to side a little bit. <sighs> Engage through the core. Down, up, down, up, good. Here's four. Three, we'll find commandos. One forearm down, leading right, let's get it. Right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand again, right, left, right, left, good. This can also be done from the knees. <sighs> Breathe, you can widen the feet wider than your hips as well to help. Here's four, three, two, one, hold it down, push into the arms, Body saw, shift forward, back, forward, back. So you're using the feet to push your shoulders forward, then back, good. Curl the tailbone under, engage the core. This can also be done on the knees. Forward, back, four, three, good, two, one, hold it neutral, walk to your dolphin. One foot at a time. Walk back. Forearm plank. Walk forward. Walk back. Good. Walk forward. Holding here, same movement, shift forward. Back, forward, back, woo. I am feeling the heat in my shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Walk it back. Let's find those commandos leading left. Press left hand, then right. Left arm, then right. Up, up, down, down, good. Deep breaths, you got this. Lift, lift, here's eight. Six, we hold it up, finish shoulder taps in four, three, 
to one right here. Left hand, tap, lower down. Right hand, tap, lower down. Final push, tap, lower, tap, lower. Last four. Three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, three-legged. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Roll the back heel down. Inhale, square the hips, deep bend in the right knee. On your exhale, hands come behind you, interlace the fingers. Take a deep breath and squeeze the shoulders together. This should feel pretty good after that sequence. On your exhale, start to lean forward. Tap your right shoulder to your right knee. On your inhale, lift back up. Use the stability of the legs. On your exhale, lower. Inhale to lift, deep bend in the right knee the whole time. Exhale to lower. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it down. Reach forward. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your next inhale, pop the left heel. Come all the way up. Crescent lunge. Exhale to sink low. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, start to hinge forward. Hips go back, arms reach forward. <sighs> inhale, bend to your crescent. Keep the left heel popped the whole time. On your exhale, hinge forward. Use your core, straighten the right leg. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hinge. Good, couple more. Bend, extend through the right knee. Torso, stay strong. Core is engaged. You're shifting the hips back. Good. Breathing. Couple more. Here's four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it forward. Swing the arms back. Swing the arms forward. Try to keep the right leg straight. Swing back. Use your core. Swing forward. Here's four. Three, we switch sides in two, in one from here. Bend the right knee, plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg to sky, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross body. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step, warrior one. Roll the back heel down. Inhale to lift to the sky. On your exhale, hands come behind, interlace the fingers. Take a deep breath in, square the hips, broaden through the chest. Exhale to hinge forward, keep the bend in the left knee, fold, reach the fingers towards the top of the mat. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Breathing into the legs, breathing into the shoulders. Couple more. You got this. Four. Three. We find crescent. In two. In one. Pop the right heel. Lift the arms to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Start to hinge forward. Straighten the left leg. Inhale to lift it back up. Crescent. Exhale. Hinge. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hinge. Good. Breathing. Ground through all four corners of your left foot. Right leg stays engaged. Right heel stays lifted the whole time. Shift forward. Shift back. Good. Four, we hold. Three. Two. And one, hold it forward, swing the arms back, swing forward, maintain that strength in your core, swing back, swing forward, swing back, swing forward, 
Last four, three, two, one. Bend the left knee, plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great work, deep breath in. And a long breath out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right leg to sky, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick high. Exhale, step forward. Crescent lunge. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, open, warrior two. Beautiful. From here, right heel lifts. Two counts up for two, down for two. Stay really low in the legs. Maybe you slide your right foot in. Mine is sliding out because of sweat but I want you to feel really stable in the front foot despite lifting the heel. So spread the toes wide, press into the ball of the foot. And anytime we're doing these heel lifts, we're essentially giving ourselves acupressure in the foot, which has a lot of acupressure points in it. We're also building strength in the feet, strength in the ankles. Good, a couple more. All right, heel stays lifted. We dip the hips right here, heel up, dip, dip. So it's a little dip forward. Your left leg stays straight, core is engaged. Arms reaching away, your inner thigh will start to feel it. Little dips. Eight more, eight, seven, six. Reverse triangle in four. Heel drops, right leg straightens as we reach back. Three, two, one, right here, straighten. Hinge forward, triangle. Inhale, reverse, exhale. Good, use your breath, use your obliques to lift and lower. Just four, three, two, one, hold it low, deep breath in, breath out, plant the left hand, inhale, bend the right knee, open to a twist, stay for the breath out, breathe in, breathe out, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, inhale, left leg to sky, exhale, knee to nose, inhale, lift three-legged, exhale, step. Crescent, sweep arms up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, open. Good, same thing. Left heel up for two and down for two. Again, maybe slide in. If your foot is sliding away, immediately feeling it on this side. Right leg stay straight, arms reaching long. If it's too much for the shoulders, you could always take your hands to your hips for a moment or your hands to your heart. Give them a break and then come back in when you're ready. Deep bend in the left knee. Yes. Up, down, up. All right, let's find that pulse. Four, three, two, right here. Dip, dip, yes. Hello, left inner thigh. Dip, 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 dip. Beautiful. Couple more, eight, six, reverse triangle in four, three, two, one, drop the heel, reach back. That feels so good, lower triangle, use your obliques. Inhale to lift, keep the legs straight and lower. Breath in, lift, breath out, lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, a couple more, eight, seven, six, use your breath, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it low, deep breath in, breath out, plant the right hand, bend the left knee, inhale, open to a twist, hold for a moment, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Let it go. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, step through. Warrior two, all the way open. Inhale to reverse, straighten through the right leg. On your exhale, heels and toes out, goddess squat. Hands to heart center, sit low in the hips. Spine tall, core engaged. Let's just find a dip right here. Down, down. Good. Dip, dip. Hello, inner thighs. They are already feeling it. Dip, dip. All right, option. Hands stay behind the head. Or hands stay here or hands behind the head. Dip, dip. We're going to the shoulders a little bit more. Dip, dip, dip. Give me eight more. Eight. Six, we hold low, drop right elbow to right thigh. Three, two, one, hold low, lower for two, and lift, lift, good. Lower, and lift, down, and up, yes. Lower, and lift, a couple more, eight, seven, Big stretch for the left side, and then a contraction to pull you back up. Good. Five, four, three, two, hold it low. Little dip, dip, dip. Woo, up an inch, down an inch. Yes, yes, yes. Here's four. Hands come to heart. We're gonna hop the feet together, then back wide. Three, two, one, little cardio burst. In, out. Jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. Four more. Four, then we get to switch sides. Three, we'll land in our wide squat. In two, in one, land wide. Turn towards the top of the mat. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. A deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step. Warrior two right away. Inhale to open. Exhale here. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, heels and toes out. Back to that pulse. Dip. Down. 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 Good. Breathe. Dip. Dip. Inner thighs. Absolutely on fire. Here's four, three, hands behind the head. In two, we dip to the left. Right here, dip left and lift. Dip and lift, good. Stay low in the legs, dip and lift. Breathing, exhale on your effort. So as you lift, you exhale, yes. Down, up, couple more. All right, hold it low, a little pulse. Let's get it. Dip, 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 chest broad, core engaged. Down an inch, up an inch, four, three. We finish with that jump in at two. In one, back to center, hands to heart. Jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out, in, out. Good. Four, three, two, land wide, turn towards the top of the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, Malasana. Give yourself space at the top of the mat. We'll eventually find a crow pose and some frog hops from here. But for now, just enjoying this stretch. Should feel pretty good on the inner thighs. Maybe you need a forward fold if the heart rate feels pretty lifted and you need to just hang out for a moment. 
always take breaks as you need to. If you're here with me in Malasana, press your heels into the mat to lift the spine a little bit, and you can use the elbows to press the knees wider, deepening the stretch in your adductors or your inner thighs. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, from here we're gonna stand all the way up, come all the way back to this Malasana squat. Looks like this, lift for two, squat for two, nice and low, lift and lower. If you need to find a regular squat instead because of the knees, that is totally okay. That is an option. You could parallel the feet. You could walk the feet wider. Yes, yes, yes. Down and up. Four more, we hold it low. Four, three, two, one. Hold it low, crow pose. Plant the hands, walk the feet in together. Shift forward so that you can take the elbows and the knees together, or the triceps and the knees together, rather. Walking the feet in as needed. Squeezing everything in. Lift one leg, then the other. Squeezing toes together, knees together, arms together. Puff up through the back of the heart. Holding, holding. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale, step or float. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, hop. Malasana, heels in, toes out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. From here, we're going to transfer our weight into our hands. Find a frog squat or a frog jump, rather, and then come back to our Malasana shape. So we'll move slow, but we'll get our heart rate up. Let's do it right here. Plant the hands, shift the weight forward into the toes. As you lift, can you click your heels at the top? Shift back to your Malasana. Plant the hands, hop, lower back down. Maybe you find a little bit of hang time, maybe not. Push into the hands, use your core. Try to tap the feet together at the top. Keep breathing. Last one. And lower back to your Malasana. Great work. Drop to a seat. We are rolling over onto our left side to start. All right, side lying glutes. This will feel good to just lay. So left bicep cradles the head. Left leg long, right toes point, lift slow, up for two, and down for two. Option to bend the left knee. If that feels a little bit more supportive, that's where I'm gonna be today. Lift, lower, check in with your hips, make sure they're stacked. So right hip on top of left, right toes pointed, core in the, core integrity, to stabilize the spine. I am out of breath after that last sequence. Down and up. Here's four, three. We hold it up, tiny circles back. Right here, a little circle, circle. Whoo, that right leg feels like a million pounds. Couple more, eight, six, we lower and lift in four, in three, in two, in one right here. Lower and lift. Lower, second round and lift. Hello, spice. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Four more. Four, three, two, we hold it up. We circle forward, right here, circle forward, forward. All right, from here, we're gonna roll onto our back, one-legged bridge. We're almost there. Four, three, two, 
One right here. Bend the knees. Roll onto your back. Plant the right foot. Lift the left leg. Hips up. For two. Hips down. For two. Good. Moving into glute max. That big fleshy muscle on your booty. Press your right heel into the mat. And if you're feeling pressure in your right knee, walk your foot forward to lessen the angle. Left leg is straight up to the sky. If this is too advanced, left knee can be bent into the chest or left toes can be down, heel can be lifted, weight still in the right foot. So you scale up or scale down as needed. Good, couple more, four, three. We hold at the top, right heel lifts and lowers. Into, right here, up, down, lift, Lower, so you're holding your hips as high as your body allows. Yes, yes, yes. Lift, lower, up, down. Beautiful. Couple more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. So, so good. Four, three. We hold it up. Tiny lifts till the end. In two, in one, tiny lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, drop the hips, drop the heel, pull the knees into the chest for a moment, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, let it go. Beautiful, rock up to a seat to move on to your other side. I am losing my mic, all right. Rolling onto your right side, head heavy on the right bicep. Right knee slightly bent, left leg long, face soft, hip stacked, let's do it. Up for two, down for two. So let the upper body sort of hang out, but stay engaged enough in the core so that we're doing this movement from the leg, from the hip, rather than from the upper body. <sighs> yes, lift and lower good beautiful work sideline glutes no joke as usual they are so challenging even though they look so easy it looks like we're just hanging out on our side lift lower and you're really controlling the movement up and down rather than using momentum good that's where we'll get all the work in the muscles. Down, up. Hips are stacked. You got it. Here's four. Three, we hold it up, we circle back in two. In one, right here, circle. Back, back, circle, circle. Oh my goodness, circle, circle. Hips stay stacked. You could even take your left hand there to make sure. If your hips are rolling open like so, that means that the work isn't happening in your leg. Keep it there. Last four, three, two, one. Lower lift, down for two, up for two. Take breaks as you need to. I am finding the shakes in my leg. I'm taking a little break. Maybe you do too. And then you jump back in when you're ready. Up for two, down for two, that still feels challenging. Up and down. Another way that you can scale this down is to take a little break when the leg lowers. If you wanna scale it up, you just hover the foot at the bottom. All right, hold it up, circle forward, circle, circle. Again, integrity in the core. Notice if your torso is wiggling side to side as you do this. All right, single leg bridge in four, in three, in two, in one. Oh my goodness, lower down, come on to your back. Step your left foot down, lift your right leg, hips up, hips down. Take the first few reps to find your alignment on this side, knowing it might feel different than the other, and that is okay. Squeeze your left glute the whole time. Good, you got this. Core stays engaged. Again, your modifications are to either bend the right knee or the toes come down on the mat. 
Keep most of your weight in your left foot. Lift and lower from there. Good. All right, we hold it up soon. Heel lifts in three, two, one. Left heel up, left heel down, left heel up, left heel down, lift, lower, lift, lower. Here's four. We pulse in three, in two, in one, right here. Eight, seven, you got this. Six, five, four, three, two, one, drop the heel, drop the hips, right foot down, pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, take the knees wide for a moment, deep breath in, deep breath out, beautiful, all right, let's rock up to a seat, our final core sequence will be seated, so feet walk forward, knees are bent, hands down behind the hips, just behind the hips, your fingertips are in the same line as your glute, we're gonna lower the elbows down for a reverse push-up. Eventually we'll stay there, work the core. So feet can walk into center, knees can pull in towards each other, or if you need more space, feet wide. I'm gonna go knees together to start. Let's lower slow together. Down for two, use your core. Up for two, so triceps. You'll feel them right away. Can you fully extend your arms on the lift? Yes. Down for two. Keep the chest broad. Shoulder blades pulling in towards the midline as you do this movement. Yes. Down for two. And up for two. Press down through all 10 fingertips. Good. That looks awesome. Down for two and up for two. Beautiful. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Good. Down, up. Breathing. So, so good. Couple more. Four. We hold it low. We'll drive one knee into the chest. In three. In two, in one, hold it low, engage the core. First, pull the lower ribs in, then right knee into the chest, lower down, switch. Left and right. Feel that scooping sensation in your belly. Yes. All right, option, stay with one at a time or together, right here. Knees in. Feet tap, super slow, super controlled. Feel your low core doing this movement. Yes. And trying to keep the spine as is throughout this movement rather than arching as you come down and then curling in. So keeping that pulled in sensation throughout the whole movement will really fire up the core. Yes. Use your elbows, push into them couple more. Here's four. We're going to make this a combo move, so we'll, be, we'll combine the first movement and this movement together. Your option is to do one knee at a time. So when the feet land, we straighten the arms. As we bend and land, the knees pull into the chest. Let's do it right here. So feet land, press up, lower, knees in, feet down. Press up, lower, knees in, down. Press up, lower, knees in. Try to lift both elbows, same time. Straighten the arms. Couple more, four, three, two, one. All right, land in your seat. Walk the feet hips width. Walk the arms behind you. You can turn the fingers to face out a little bit. Inhale, reverse table. Should feel so good. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Drop the head back. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Come all the way down onto a seat. 
Legs go forward, inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, fold over the, over the legs. Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. Tailbone is lifting up ever so slightly, and th can you think up dog in the chest? So instead of really rounding the spine in the neck, belly to, to thighs first, and then chest and head. Flexing the toes to bring the stretch into the hamstrings. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Beautiful, inhale to come back up to a seat. Let's find an easy seat. So one foot in front of the other, you can sit up on a block or a pillow if you need to. Right hand down by the right side, inhale, sweep left arm up over the head and then lift and switch side to side, maybe closing the eyes. Breathing into the side bodies, the hips. Beautiful, come back through center, take the hands to the knees. On your inhale, start to puff the heart forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the head. On your exhale, round and curl, belly to spine, chin towards chest. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more, opening up through the chest, the back body, and the spine. Beautiful, come back through center. Let's walk the feet forward and then come all the way down onto the back. Draw the knees into the chest once you arrive. Give yourself a squeeze and then happy baby. Knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. Maybe rock side to side, straighten one leg. Wherever you are, draw the, the tailbone down towards the ground to lengthen through your spine. Draw the knees back into the chest. Lengthen your left leg, keep your right. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, supine twist. Right knee to the left as you gaze towards your right. When you're ready, draw back through center, pull the knees into the chest and release right leg. Find your twist, left knee to the right, gaze towards the left. When you're ready, come back through center, pull the knees into the chest and then find your final rest, Shavasana. Toes wide. Palms face up to the sky, body heavy on the mat, eyes are closed, and breath returns to its natural rhythm. We won't be here for a really long time, so can you drop right into it? And if you have any resistance to staying, maybe you're going to shut off the video right now. Challenge yourself to stay. It's not too long. It's not going to ruin the rest of your day by taking another minute or two for you. It's actually going to improve the rest of the day. So coming out of that mindset that you always have to be doing something quote unquote productive. And remembering that rest is productive.
Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Maybe wiggle fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Extend the arms up overhead, full body stretch, deep breath in. Breath out, roll over to one side and press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Sitting up nice and tall, closing the eyes back down once you arrive. Click the hands at your heart center when you are ready. And as always, in this final moment of class, can you find a feeling of gratitude for simply showing up to do something for you today? Let's take a deep, full breath in. And a long sigh out. Let it go. Blink the eyes open when you are ready. Great, great work. I hope you absolutely loved this class. Please let me know down below if you did what you would like to see more of. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps to support me. I also have a members only area on YouTube where I post another full length class every single month. So if you would like another class with me, you can join that. It is $4.99, so very inexpensive and helps to support me, which I super appreciate. And also my app called The Glow Method. We have almost 400 classes over there, which is actually crazy. That is so many classes in the past two years, but they are all amazing. So similar to what I teach on YouTube, but just more. And all of my series and challenges are over there too. So if you want more classes, that's where to go. And if you would like to join me in real life, community connection, hanging out by the pool, on the beach, in the ocean, doing yoga twice a day, please, please join me in Baja. I would be so happy for you to come. So all the links down below. That is enough from me. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.